Dr. Crane, can I borrow you for a second? You're doing great. Dude, you're in trouble here. Thanks for the update. Take it easy, Mr. Snappy. I'm here to help you. Can you believe that Kirby guy works here? I can't believe they finally graduated him. Now, remember, guys, you're still goodwill ambassadors. We to... weren't talking to you. OK. Everything OK, Dr. Crane? Absolutely. I didn't fully appreciate the hard-hitting nature of your journalism, but I think I know how to handle it now. We're back with more teen scene and our special guest, Dr. Fraser Crane. Now, Dr. Crane, where were we? I believe we were discussing my competence as a mental health professional. And though it is true that I have suffered several emotional setbacks in my life, if we are to be honest, haven't we all? And that's your defense, that we all have problems. <laughs> Perhaps I can better illustrate my point by reading from a poem entitled, An Onion for Trisha. Where did you get that? My heart is like an onion, filled with layers of tears. Why, oh, why did you leave me, Trisha? OK, give me that. Trisha Sharp, you said you never liked her. Ooh, Trent, tough blow. <laughs> yes, it seems that youthful relationships are fraught with emotional hazards, especially in the case of a, a young woman who finds her first love at math camp. What happened at math camp? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Dr. Crane. Yes, Ryan. Or as the boys on the swim team call you. So, do you have any good advice for kids that want to go to college? As a matter of fact, I believe I do. In short, call 